ah, the housing is so expensive in this place. Oh, the cost of living is so expensive in this place. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shomi Mary Oshie Fodori. And if you're new to this channel, I'm a midwife, I'm a mom, and I live in the UK. So I talk about life in the UK and everything related to lifestyle. Like you would have seen in the topic, today we are talking about how to save money when you live in an high cost area especially as an immigrant. We know immigrants to the UK do not have access to public funds and there are limited helps you can get financially. And some of us, like, you know, I live very close to London. Some of us do not have the privilege of, you know, living in low cost area, like places where the cost of living is not so expensive. So we find ourselves living in places that are quite expensive, like London and its surrounding areas. Most of the time, what we always do is just to talk about our pretty comments like ah the housing is so expensive in this place oh the cost of living is so expensive in this place oh this oh that but we have never thought of taking you know a particular action towards you know how to survive in these areas so i'm going to be talking about five points and if you have any extra additional points that you want to add please do that in the comment section and before we go on please subscribe to my channel please like my video you can also check other videos on the channel and please do so to like them and comment on them also so the first thing is acknowledge your pretty comments <laughs> For example, we know that, okay, when I got a job from uh, Nigeria, where I got a job in was a place where the cost of living is high, relatively high. But that was where I got a job and I liked the place and I just went there, you understand? As at the time when I was looking for a job, I was not even looking for, hey, I want to stay in high cost area or I want to stay in low cost area. I was just looking for a job. So anywhere the job came from was where I went to and... Where I went to was quite expensive, but it is not my fault, you understand? So acknowledge that where you stay is expensive, where oh, this is where you have gotten a job and this is the situation you have found yourself in. So how can I make use of this situation to the maximum potential? The second one I'm going to say is save before you spend. <laughs> it is really, really easy for you to keep spending when you see money inside your account. So when you have a budget, kind of have a budget of necessary expenses things that you cannot carry over for example your rent you know you pay your uh, you pay your rent monthly and if you don't pay your rent you'll be homeless you understand so your rent your bills these are non-negotiable make sure you take that away and the remaining money that you have in your account you need to have a particular amount of money, like the lowest amount that you must save. Like if heaven falls on ground, ground falls on heaven, this particular amount of money, I must save it every month. You, you tell yourself that and you take that money aside. For example, if you're able to save 50 pounds every month, that 50 pounds, even if someone's grandma swallows, swallows cutlass, even someone jump on the fence and broke their leg broke their knee did everything that standard is what you should set for yourself for example you might be able to save more than that you know but that least amount is the least amount you should always save or put away every month for yourself so also just note that you can always save above the set amount but that particular amount it gives you a guide to you know having this at least this amount of money because when you save money it just helps you to, to be able to plan for your future. You have a lot of things that maybe are on your to-do list that you want to do. So saving money would always help you. Then also, it's very important for us to save for our emergency fund. Emergency fund is so important. If anything happens and you were suspended from work, you're not getting salary, how are you going to cope? You know, you need to think about that. If something happened and maybe your husband is not able to go to work, how are you going to cope? Mind you, live, you live in an high-cost area. And most people that live in an high-cost area, especially when you're a family, one person's salary might not be enough to sustain the family. So if you don't have an emergency fund, how would you cope if something happens to one of either of you's uh, source of income? Do you understand what I'm trying to say now? So the third one I'm going to say is... In, try to increase your income. I know it's 
it's not easy but if there's anything you can do to increase your income please try to do if there's a side or zoo if you can pick up extra shifts if you can work it with um if you could work with agencies if you could do some extra jobs online please try to consider it because living in an high cost uh an high cost area you might not necessarily feel that you are earning enough from your salary so if you are able to get another stream of income it will be very very helpful to you and your family the fourth one i'm going to say is try to review and prioritize your spending fashion is different from your colleague that is any the same amount of money and is staying in a low cost area because your friend is driving a car of five thousand pounds doesn't mean you can actually afford that money you might according to your income according to what is going on the trajectory of your life you might not be able to afford that particular amount of money so review your spending review your income like prioritize your spending for example now if traveling is a priority to you you know that traveling is what you are going to be saving towards and if any other thing comes along the way, like maybe uh, you see a designer bag that you really like, you see a jewelry that you really like, but it can actually still wait. Why not still hold on on that spending and just save towards what you have prioritized? You understand? Because that way you don't feel like you keep working without enjoying yourself or you keep doing things and, you know, without like you just you might just feel like if you don't spend money on things you like doing you might just feel exhausted that you keep working and you are unable to you know enjoy the money that you are actually working for so prioritize your spending review your spending if there are some direct debt, example like you and me that we are registered to gym and we are not going to the gym if the gym is not working cancel your subscription don't allow the 22 pounds the 15 pounds they'll be removing every month don't allow it to keep going out of your account without being accountable to it so if you know you're not going to the gym cancel your subscription if it's a type of subscription that you can share amongst your friends like amazon prime that you can add another adult look for one of your friends and come together and actually work together to you know Pay the subscription. If it's something like YouTube Premium that two people can actually use or Apple Music, why do you want to keep wasting your money when you can actually share with your friends? If there's something that is taking your money that you don't know, call your bank and let them review your direct debits. Please, constantly review your direct debits and constantly review how much you're spending at each point in time. I hope that would help. And finally, the last but not the least, if you are constantly finding yourself struggling financially because you live in an high cost area i think this is the time where you need to move away to be honest because your mental health is very very paramount to you if you find yourself working in a place where you think you cannot cope you're st constantly struggling you can't even help the people back home you can't even send money to your parents you can't even do anything because life in the city is just so expensive my dear i think this is time when you need to start looking for another place to stay a place where that our uh, work can reduce your direct debits a place that can reduce your cost of living to of to some extent a place that can reduce your spendings to the barest minimum i think it is time for you to start considering to move because <laughs> the job will do itself you only need to prioritize yourself if you have found these tips helpful or there's any other thing you need to say please drop your comments in the comment section and we'll see you again in our next video bye for now